Hello YouTubers! This channel is all about RV living, traveling, and do-it-yourself projects. Please hit the subscribe button below. Hello YouTube! I've been promising a um, battery update and I've got a few minutes. So, um, it's April 1st is when I put the batteries in the the uh, van and I did the load test and uh, so it's been three months and the past two months I've been living out of the van so the battery has had some pretty good use so this is a three month update um, the battery has performed better than expectations I've had no problems I do have a difference between the highest cell and the lowest cell by 0 0.09 volts. But remember, I did build a spare cell, and I'm thinking about changing. Number one is surprisingly the low cell, and number five has always been the high cell. And that's the way it was when it was new. Only difference was... Uh, after the load test, there was only 0 0.03 difference, and now that has grown to 0 0.09. And it seems to be cell one that's making the change. So I'm thinking after manually testing each one of these cells to uh, switch out that uh, cell, and of course I'm gonna keep it as a spare cell, and hook up the spare cell as number one cell. What I don't know is uh, the voltage that that spare cell has got right now until I manually test it because it's not hooked up on the uh, controller. And I have mixed thoughts on the controller because I actually did not check its calibrations for each reading of each cell because if you recall I got it after the load test and all the, the readings that I took were worth my uh, meter not that controller but I did do a video showing what the difference was on the controller by 0 0.03 volts if I recall correctly so uh, let's get ready and uh, first we're going to run through the readings on the controller and then I will disconnect everything and take a reading at each cell with my uh, meter. So let's get to it. Okay, take two. What you're looking at is the voltage of the 7S battery. Typically I charge it to 28 volts. Um, I've had the charger off the last couple days, and uh, this morning, after two days of running the refrigerator in here without the solar collector on, the battery was down to 27.3 uh, volts. And uh, it's been charging for a couple hours now. It's charging at right at 200 watts. And uh, I think the charger's I've had the charger on since uh, about 11 o'clock, and it's 4 o'clock now, so uh, whatever that is. And the way this this uh, charge controller works, it brings it up to 28 volts. Once it gets to 28 volts, it doesn't hold it there till the battery gets there. It goes ahead and shuts off and goes into float mode. And I've got actually float mode turned off. So... Um, until it gets a load where it brings the voltage down to 27.5 then the charge controller turns on and starts charging it back up to 28 and then it will shut off again when it gets to 28 and it goes into float mode and again float mode is not turned on so it actually does nothing so we're looking at the total voltage and uh, next we're looking at the difference between the high cell and the low cell uh, the difference is 0 0.09. The, uh, that is the high cell. That is the low cell. That's number one. Number five is the high cell. 
Now we can go through and look at each. This is number one, 3.89 volts. Two is 3.91 volts. Three is 3.96 volts. Four is 3.96. Five is 3.98. Six is 3.96 and 7 is 3.96 so that's the seven cells there is one cell that's not connected to this meter that is not connected to anything it's a spare cell I do not know what the voltage currently is I'm fixing to disconnect everything on these batteries and one by one check the voltage with my meter and also I will do the same with the spare cell if the spare cell is within these ranges then I may disconnect the first cell and the spare cell will become the number one cell. So here we go. Spare battery is at 4.16. Way too high to hook to these other batteries. Number one, three point nine zero. Three point nine two. Three point nine two for number two. Three point nine two for number two. Three point nine seven. Number three, three point nine seven. Three point nine seven, number four. Okay, number five. <clears throat> Three point nine five. Excuse me. Three point nine seven. Number six. Number six, three point nine seven. And finally, number seven. Three point nine eight is number seven, 3.98. Okay, here we have the readings uh, of the capacity controller and the multimeter. And uh, it looks like uh, the capacity controller's calibration is within uh, uh, horseshoes, I guess. Um, it's not uh, a lot off from the multimeter. The multimeter does read the number seven cell as the height cell. Uh, and of course, number one is still the low cell. Uh, number two is right behind number one. And all the other five cells are really close together. Um, so I believe this battery is healthy. I don't think I need to, to uh, introduce that spare battery to it, but I made a mistake when I uh, charged the uh, spare battery. I should have charged it to 3.95. And if you recall, I charged all of these batteries to 4.15 uh, when I put them in the van, and then I ran them all the way down to um, uh, the total voltage I ran from 29 volts down to 25.9 and 
Then I charged them back up <coughs> to 28. So putting the spare battery in at 4.15 and it's still reading uh, 4.16. So it's very close to its original voltage when I put it in the van. Um, the only other difference is that uh, the multimeter reads the difference between the high and low cell at 0 0.08 and the uh, controller still reads the difference between 1 and 5 as being 0 0.09 and I don't think that's an issue. After the battery fully charged back up to 28 volts the, the multimeter, I mean the controller, uh, read the difference at 0 0.06. So it has changed a little bit since uh, originally putting the batteries in, but uh, not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, I will be putting this battery to uh, full test these next three, four weeks. I'm leaving uh, a couple of days to go to Rockport for three or four more weeks and uh, I'll be painting the house that I have there that I'm going to be putting on the market and um, I'll be using this battery in the van to power any fans or power tools because uh, I have not or will not turn the electricity back on after the renter leaves nor the water so I'll be using the van uh, for all the power needs that I need in the house while I'm working on it, lighting and so forth. So that is the update. I think the battery is healthy. And uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down below. I sure appreciate everybody that takes time to watch these videos. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys that are actually thinking about building a battery, uh, this information is useful for you. So until next time, check you later.